Hi, welcome back. Good to have you along with us. Hope you survived the Thanksgiving holidays a OK. Skies were made clear for a beautiful blue day for us. This is a blue sky day. <laughs> Look at this camera shot from Salado. Great afternoon and things are still green thanks to the rains we get every once in a while. We saw almost half an inch of rain in the showers we saw uh, Saturday and, and uh, late Saturday night. Temperatures this afternoon under the sunshine helping boost uh, a little bit of winter growth for some grasses around the area. 77 in Meridian today. 72 has been the high so far in Waco and in Marlin. Temple too. 71 the high temperature for Colleen Coppers Cove and for uh, Lampasas and San Saba. Gatesville coming in at 73 so far today. I say that because we could see a little more warmth in the next observation that is released by the uh, the the thermometers automatic stations around the area. Highs tomorrow should be back up into the mid 70s where we are in the low 70s today will be a little bit warmer tomorrow afternoon and talking about some pretty nice weather conditions for the week ahead. In fact, we're probably going to be looking at 80 degrees by Friday afternoon as we see a little bit of a war warming trend to continue for us this week. <laughs> Clear skies overhead right now at 67 degrees, 40 percent relative humidity, a south wind at nine miles an hour. We got the radars working extra hard trying to find any cloud cover rain around the area. Satellite is indicating a bit of mid-level cloud cover, uh, moisture from off the Pacific Ocean across northern Mexico, kind of skirts across extreme southern portions of the Big Bend area. Otherwise, you're talking about a southerly breeze across the state, and that's bringing in a little more moisture for us. What that's going to make uh, our atmosphere feel like is a little dampness in the evening, but otherwise no rain. Uh, clear skies, kind of chilly. 42 will be the overnight low with our winds tonight out of the south around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Put that forecast map into motion for you. There's not a whole lot going on here, but if you look back to the north, we've got a frontal system trying to make its way out of the Great Lakes into the mid Mississippi Valley. It's just going to run out of gas before it gets into uh, the five south central states across the South Plains. What we will see is uh, that low that develops along the lee side of the Rockies begin to spin a little bit. That'll cause a little generation of winds for us. So scattered clouds in the forecast for us by tomorrow afternoon. Still breezy thanks to that low out west. South winds 10 to 15 and gusty. We'll continue with a southerly to southwesterly fetch to the wind for much of the week, and that's why we warm up so much. 75 for a high on Tuesday, 76 on Wednesday, 78 on Thursday. This is a nice way to wrap up the month of November for us with temperatures getting the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Next shot at any rain coming next Saturday. In fact, our, we, we see the weather pattern beginning to change as we go towards the weekend. We could see fronts about every two to three days after we hit that Saturday period. So perhaps by Tuesday, another shot at some rain coming in the forecast for us. Otherwise, it's a pretty nice looking outlook for us. We've got more news straight ahead. Stay with us.